the forehead of your robot. This is the time Roblox was very young at its own. However, once a very rare thing happened appearing to be in June 6, 2006. On that same day when the website was updated, users began reporting an unknown game being inserted into the website. The game was called, 66 and was released by a user named, Mealy is Biggie. Might remind of an alt account or a fan account of a user named Mealy. 180 people were playing the game, and it had slots of 15 people per server. When entering that game, it had a Roblox C and Happy House template. Nothing much but empty, so why a lot of people play this even? Later when time struck 6.56 p.m., the Happy House template became a horror place with blood. Then, 60 people only left it. The rest of the people were stuck, as if the game was softlocked instantly when 60 people left. All Robloxians, who played the game at 6.56 p.m. on June 6, 2006, have been hacked. Their accounts were never seen on Roblox. After that, Roblox went down for 15 hours. On June 7, 2006, a thread was uploaded by Builderman. Dear players, we are sorry for any unknown errors or falsely inserted games. The account was terminated, and the game is deleted. All 120 accounts were terminated for deactivation. Sorry for the incident. On June 28, 2006, almost a month after the incident, a new thread from Builderman came in. The account, Mealy is Biggie, appears to be a hacker-controlled account we terminated. The hacker was arrested on June 15, 2006. On June 6, 2007, a year after the incident, people decided to play a joke about recreating the June 6, 2006 game. Only 200 users did, but, instead of joking around, these games have turned very sinister at the time of 6.56 p.m. 2,340 accounts were hacked. The big investigation came, and the thread was posted 10 minutes before Roblox was shut down for maintenance. Dear players, we may encourage you not to publish any games based on June 6, 2006, since this is found out to be that these games have inserted scripts that activate at 6.56 p.m. Thank you. After that, Roblox went down for 13 hours then. On June 7, 2007, the account, Mealy is Biggie, has been annoyingly revived. It uploaded a sister game called, 7-7-2007. It didn't have any auto-inserted script to make it scary. On June 8, 2007, the game reached 3,000 visits, and only 70 people played it every hour, then it doubled up. But later the game was having issues and at 6.56 p.m., an incident happened. The game was at 3,350 visits, all of the people were auto-kicked from the game, thus they received false bans with false reasons claiming to be unauthorized credentials, talking about illegal content and others. Roblox admins quickly shut down the game, and Roblox was not on maintenance this time since it would upset the people. Quick checks were made and the account, Mealy is Biggie, was permanently IP banned to prevent it from being revived. On June 6, 2008, two years after the first incident, an unknown user recreated the game, 66 with an anti-ban script to prevent it from being taken down. 350 people played it online, and at 6.56 p.m., it was under attack again. 350 accounts were falsely terminated, and Roblox was down for 12 hours. The user was then terminated after that. On June 7, 2008, new Roblox updates came with more security, and it was better. On June 6, 2009, the Great Terror attack occurred. A massive group of over 5,000 hackers attack Roblox with spam uploading 66 games into the website. Other bad things were, false banning users, stealing valuables from inventories, uploading controversial items and decals, and hacking some games. All the hackers were quickly banned, and for the first time, Roblox went under maintenance for five days. The longest ever Roblox had in its history. On June 12, 2009, a conclusion was made. A message was sent to all players, which ended the June 6th problem. 
Dear players, we inform you that games including dates are illegal to be uploaded, as it inspires June 6, 2006, and may affect a lot of people playing. We have made the super security update that moderates game content and removes any suspicious scripts found in the game. Thank you, and have a nice day. The June 6 hack thing was never seen after that. In 2010, an hacker organization called Roblox Liberation Front was quickly taken down, it appears to have got over 10,000 hackers before being terminated. In 2012, Roblox demanded the in-game filtering update to ban any illegal content, and make the game empty. This terminates the user if it's repeated. In 2015, the June 6 hack was officially never talked about, as most threads were deleted by Roblox, thus ending the entire June 6 craze.